<laughs> We're with our good friend Adios, a, uh, a long time hip hop vet in San Diego. I'm Southern CA, that's pistol grips and pancakes. Sunscreen, stay left, life loss, a handshake, land of the fake. Gold diggers and stakes, hold your enemies close, cause your friends are gold Jake. I've been putting it down for how many years in San Diego? Like, uh, fuck. Uh, Longer, huh? What, my first show in San Diego? Since you've been rocking shows consistently out here. In San Diego, two, 2004, 5, 6. Wow, right? Yeah, wow. A lot of you haven't been making beats for as long as you've been rapping, have you? Definitely not. Um, I think the new, the new style of beat has probably been a good couple years. I've been focused on this. And it's more concentrated on the, on the keyboards. Keys, yeah, it's heavy yeah. on the keys. It's Earth, good. wind, and fire. You know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. You know, when you guys rocked that show together and uh, an OB and that one little the hookah shop, joint, yeah, yeah. Tired, the OB <laughs> barbecue pit. Dude. I still have I still have the footage from that show. I go back to that old material, man. It's really good. I like all our old shit. Yeah, the original OB shit. Dude, yeah, you guys are killing it, man. For yeah. real, dude. You guys had had some chemistry. I definitely agree. I found it. That was the first song that I recorded yeah. with you guys. I literally found it. I don't think it was foul play. I found the freedom, the freedom song. I found the freedom song. What was the freedom song called? Freedom, I say fuck it. There's no such thing. Freedom, I say fuck it. There's no such thing. Slavery in the sky, so let freedom ring. Not in my mind, not in my soul. Love keeps me free from freedom. FOE classic. What year was that? Adios. Two thousand and two. <laughs> FOE baby. Smoke them if you got them, son. Mm -hmm. What you want? You want some beats? You what you want? Some new tracks? You want to hear a new track? Y'all yeah. want to hear a new track? The song is the intro track titled Seventy, and uh, the album is called Seventy and Sunny, and it's dropping next month. Like San Diego. Like San Diego. Word. Fucking sea salt and sunscreen. Did you hit this? Shout out to my boy Change. Pussy Buffet. If you ain't seen it, see it now. Change, you named that shit Pussy Buffet? I was <laughs> so much pussy like I'm eating at a buffet. Be hot as shit in Dago right now. Dude, do you remember the first time when you were like, I'm gonna be an MC? Like, the time where you were like, you decided that shit? Or, you know, yeah, I do actually yeah. remember the first time, bro. Yeah. The first time I knew I wanted to be an MC, I was driving back from, uh, from community college and I was 18 and I was taking a sound production class with my boy Hi-Fi who I grew up with and uh, we were bumping uh, Hard to Earn in a CRX on the way back from fucking from a uh, Hemet Hemet to Temecula the right. mecca of hip hop in the IE right <laughs> it sounds like a joke but it really is not there's a lot of talent that comes out of that there's a lot of talent that comes out of that man yeah and I remember I was telling my boy I was like 17 years old and I was telling him man I was like you know, someday I'm gonna do this. This is what I wanna do. And shout out to Guru, man. Without like uh, Gangstar and everything that they put together, DJ Premier and Guru, I would not be here today. Plus a long list of other, um, like my mom, me, my dad, and shit like that. But, uh... <laughs> hey, but about uh, like Hemet and Marietta and Temecula, that whole area, it's uh, been crazy to me because it's like, there literally is, is nothing to do out there for, for the youth, and I think that's right. why it, it, like, it's, it's kind of it's a weird dichotomy because you think, well, nothing's going to happen out here. But because there's nothing out there, if it, it triggers a lot of uh, creativity in the youth that's out there. The good thing with Marietta and Temecula and the South IE and Riverside is you're fucking halfway to San Diego and you're halfway to L.A. Because nobody needs to be fucking stuck in the middle. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna say, dude. Oh, unless, yeah. unless you're on an avocado farm in the news. Fallbrook. Or Fallbrook. <laughs> Shout out to my, uh, my peeps in Fallbrook. I was uh, DJing. I was a DJ with this hip hop fusion band, and we were playing. We were opening right before Coolio at the Lake Elsinore Storm Stadium. Mm -hmm. And this was like, fuck, I was 19 years old, so this is like 1999. My girlfriend at the time, she was like too young to come in 
for whatever reason, you know. Mm -hmm. But she was like, I just want you to get Coolio's autograph, you know. <laughs> so I'm thinking, I'm like, I'm like, man, you just That's hilarious. Coolio's autograph. All right, cool. I, I can get Coolio's autograph, you know what I mean? So, uh, and we played literally right before him. And uh, we got off the stage and we rocked it, man. And I was just like so full of adrenaline and so fucking hype. And this was before, I mean, I was just cutting records in the back. And uh, Coolio was sitting there behind the stage with like 15 bodyguards, dude. <laughs> and I go up to Coolio and I'm like, I'm like, hey, Coolio. I'm like 18. Dude. I'm like, hey, Coolio. I'm like, uh, I'm like, uh, can I get your autograph? I had like, I don't even know if I had a record. I don't know what the fuck I even, I don't even remember what I had for him to sign it. And he just looked at me like, he was going to fucking lump me up, man. Tell your mom boys to kick the fuck back in the mono. I swear to God, bro. And all of his, uh, all of his, uh, his security guards like took a step forward, and I was like, "Fuck, dude!" And there wasn't even a word that was said after that. I just like literally turned around and walked away. And I think that's when I realized, like, "All right, man, these dudes are really cool and nice in a rap video, but they're probably not gonna like sign my girlfriend's T-shirt." You know? <laughs> hey, Coolio. Yeah. <laughs> I met David Blaine recently. David Blaine. And he was a douche. Yeah. <laughs> I could see that. It's funny. I guess it's a good story for this yeah, show. Yeah, right? totally. Yeah, well, dude, like, I was waiting tables, and, and dude came in. This dude comes up to me like like this, dude. Dude gets in my face like this. And, but I said to him, I was like, it's you, dude. And, he, and, he, and, he, and, he, and he was like, yeah, it's me, man. <laughs> He's like, I need somebody, like, to make sure my order gets done right. You got to make sure to clean the girl, like, completely clean. I don't want anything that I've touched this for the salmon and all this stuff's got to be like separate. I went and talked to his waitress. I was like, hey man, take care of this dude. You know, yeah, yeah, they like, were blamed. Fuck. But she, she, she thought I was joking. Really? She didn't, like, even though she saw him, she didn't think it was him. And she thought I was playing, but she ended up getting fired for that shit. But, Are you serious? Yeah, but, but, she, but she didn't think that it was dude, you know? Tim Tebow was actually just staying yeah. at the Double Tree. Oh, really? Day, at the yeah. Double Tree? Yeah, all that employees. Like, He's a Qualcomm, him. man. He's like the modern day Jesus Christ, dude. You know I, mean? <laughs> I see Tim Tebow. It's Tebow time. Jesus, man, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's Tebow time. <laughs> yeah, man, he's like a virgin, dude. He's like a, the 40 year old virgin, but he like scores touchdowns and shit. Like, <laughs> never those no, he doesn't. <laughs> You guys want to hear this track? Yeah, 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 yeah let's listen yeah. to some beats. Well, I think the three of us are pretty high as fuck. <laughs> this bus ain't gonna stop. This plane is too high. Hot water's gone cold. Welcome to my life. Paint a picture till the sky dies. Seems about right. 70 degrees in sunshine. Yeah, it's all fine. Six blocks from the sandbox. Where the bars rot, waves crash. Junkies got the beat lock. On clock. Spring break fever's got the street block. Can't walk. Party till you can't talk. No B took a shake to the gun after the pause lost and found a dude dead in the same spot as that high. Watch the backdrop before your backdrop, this is that block. Snapshot, DEA took the snack shot. Yeah, it's crack rock. Betty got the best prop. Sunshot, sandlot. That beat's ridiculous, my too. Nepal, bro. Nepal, you killed that like shit, as usual. How many tracks on the album? There's gonna be probably nine altogether. And it's called uh, Seventy and Sunny, right? Yeah, this is actually the the, the. the last album you released was called what? The Outbreak. The Outbreak. That's right. Did you hear that? Yeah, yeah. You were on it, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's not. I hope you heard it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's sick. Who took that picture? Hold on, let me, let me all, get a shot. That's my roof, dude. Let me get a shot of that so they could see. So, uh... Yeah, man, that's the cover for my name. Pelican Head Records presents... Pelican Head Records. Audio 70 and label. Sunny. Nice. Yeah, man. Dude, that is a sick album cover, bro. Who took that? Uh, my boy Roman. He just waited for the plane to come he's in? He's from El Salvador. Yeah, he's a G, dude. He he's from El Salvador? Yeah, he's fucking... Uh, I work, I work <laughs> with him. Here? I work with him here, yeah. <laughs> Shit, I almost, dro I almost dropped the fucking camera because I got so excited there's a Salvadorian in San Diego beside me. Yeah. Holy <laughs> shit. Yeah. What's up with that kid? My boy Roman, yeah. You got his number? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Like, I'm tripping because uh, I'm in the middle of... Uh, Trying yeah, to figure out a cup. Yeah. I'll get my boy to take pictures. Well, I'll just get my boy to take pictures and then I'll edit them, dude. We got the designer for El Santo Groove's first album. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> so it's this, called Synchronicity. This, Let's hear the second track after that one. Yeah. Yo, I put out the single and you can download it for free. Adios. 
Bandcamp or Bandcamp backslash Audios, A U D I O S, and it's called Waiting. She sat there in the window waiting Like she did before Pacing, patience is a virtue For you trying to hurt you Lose and you will lose Life is a refuge A rap race of test tubes Test two, act seven Sipping cherry coke in heaven And it could all be easy If it wasn't so greasy If it wasn't so greasy Why can't life always be pleasing? You got a gutter for the raindrops Blue pill till the pain stops Take the photos off I man. wrote this song in the darkest state of uh, the probably the past 10 years of my life I literally wrote this song on hopped up on fucking whatever cough syrup I was drinking <laughs> to try to beat the pneumonia I had for a fucking month living in the shittiest place I've ever lived in my life last year man what was that? Uh, I was just right up the street. Yeah, man. Third and Calmia. That's my next album. My next album that I got coming out this year is Casa Arlita, the Blackheart blog. Damn, so you're sitting on like three albums, I'm huh? I'm sitting on at least three albums, man. Damn, dude. What, what, what started off the kind of the bad uh, luck or whatever the, what you were going through? Oh, uh, it was just um, a combination of work and uh, breaking up with my, my girlfriend and moving back on my own at like 30. Being myself at 30, I guess, man, I just like had a meltdown, dude. Trying to juggle work and not having enough time to juggle music and hearing all the other sides to all of that just fucking threw me for a loop. And I, even though I was in the darkest spot that I've been in the past couple of years, I think that, I mean, that's where I've, that's where I started focusing on just making, you know, this piano music and doing all that stuff dude so oh yeah i think some of my best shit actually came out of that i've been in and out of san diego for like the past oh, shit. 10 years man and i've never found the hip-hop seem to be to be very strong like why oh, hasn't oh, oh. like <laughs> oh, I, I feel like everything that's ever happened tonight was setting up for this i feel like it's a setup man i want out no uh, i mean don't get me wrong uh I got love for San Diego hip hop. The talent's deep, but I'm saying like, as far as right, breaking is, through you know like, what, I'm not even, I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna pinpoint the problem of <clears throat> San Diego music on San Diego hip hop because it's not San Diego hip hip hop's fault. You know what I mean? As with like any music genre or any art club or anything, it's trying to find its niche, man. And you know what? From the get go, the city that it's the city that's made it its hardest for San Diego hip hop. To, to survive i don't blame it on on the actual san diego hip-hop scene as much as i blame it on the city of san diego in uh, regards in regards to the to the level of i mean i'm not gonna the san diego hip-hop scene's a, a joke bro there's been five <laughs> people throwing shows here for the past five ever since canes closed the even the indie the indie music scene in general in San Diego has completely crumbled, dude. Half of the fucking good national touring acts would book another night in Los Angeles or even Santa Ana now as opposed to playing in San Diego. I guess you can't blame the city for the music scene, but it is a B-rated music scene. I don't know if it's... Because it is, right? As much as it pains me to say, I feel like it, it is, is, too, because this is, my, this is my hometown, you know what I mean? Yep. You're, I mean, yours too, shit. Mine, mine too. When you're one of five people throwing shows in a city, <laughs> you can only go so many nights when 20 yeah. people show up, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I think like, a lot I don't of... know how many San Diego shows I've been to, or how many artists I've seen come to San Diego that played 15-person shows, dude. Wow. And I don't blame that so much. I don't bl I don't know where to blame that, actually, man. That mm. might be the San Diego hip-hop scene as well. <laughs> I mean, I grew up, my parents are both musicians, my dad's... What's your dad play? My dad is actually a trumpet player, but he plays rhythm guitar nowadays. Nice. The first turntables I ever got, I was 13 years old, and my mom, we actually got them from the El Cajon, uh, the El Cajon Black Angus, because my mom worked for Black Angus mm -hmm. at the time. Oh, really? Yeah, it, it had to close because there was, like, the uh, the nightlife, like, the Friday nights and the Saturday thing they were doing, like, some dude got shot outside of it. Wow. Like, it was, like, all rough and rugged. <laughs> so they were, like, closing it, and they were... Uh, remodeling the store and my mom c called me or my mom was like hey there's like an extra pair of turntables and I had been 
itching about turntables since like nine years old really and like when i first <laughs> i forgot where i don't remember where exactly i saw the first like dj scratching a record to a hip-hop song but like i was itching for turntables so my mom got me a pair uh, i got a pair of these uh beat down technique 1200s from uh the el cajon black angus to it at 13 i still actually have one of them nice uh, <laughs> yeah, the other one broke down yeah that one broke down lasted a while i still got it's one technique. of them dude this is the second cut off my new album. Southern CA, that's pistol grips and pancakes. Sunscreen, stay left. Life loss on handshakes. Land of the fake. Gold diggers and stakes. Hold your enemies close, cause your friends will go Jake. Thought Petey was a good guy, so Petey stole the plate. Now Petey's in the paddy wagon, waiting for a steak. America's finest city, cause the feds run this place. Next to the Mexican mafia and some small town gang. Leave your car running in the street, go inside and it's bagged. Or it's bugged by the fuzz, and you're headed for the tank. Whole lot of sun. Equals a whole lot of drink Ocean Beach, state of mind Smoking sticky green dank From the San Diego Zoo Up to LA Take the 5 northbound It's a SoCal thing From the San Diego Zoo Up to LA Take the 5 northbound Never said it happened Till the scene went rabbit And he sat with a hat And a bunny and a cat Do you write all the time Just as a discipline? Nah. Or do you just write when you're inspired? I used to write all the time as a discipline But um I haven't written all the time. I write when I'm inspired. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't. I'll I'll write a song rhythm and you know um, main chords. Mm -hmm. I'll write I'll write chords nowadays more so than I'll write um, lyrics. You know, a lot of the lyrics just come freestyle nowadays. Mm -hmm. You know, I think the next project I'm gonna do I'm gonna record in like five days, dude. I'm gonna write every song. I'm gonna record every lyric, and it's just gonna be five days. One song a day. Just, I mean, just one album. However quick I can get one album. Like I'm not gonna space it out, dude. I'm not gonna, cause a lot of these songs, you know, have been written for like a year or something. You know what I mean? Like typically, if you hear, you hear someone's new album, they wrote it a year to two years ago. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? To the due process of making an album. Right. As in, you know, mixing and all the other. I mean, this. I think I should have had this album out months ago. You know what I mean? Like, I feel... But that's usually how it always... That is how it is. Right. But I think the next thing I'm going to do is just going to be a three-day project. All live fucking everything. Freestyle? Just everything, dude. Nice. So, what, what do you think about the state of the world right now, man? Me? Yeah. Holy shit. Stay the world right now? Yeah, I man. Like, you think like the 2012 shit, like that shit's changed, has changed shit, or like, ish, are we at like epic part of history? Like, do you think shit, you know, shit's about like do I think the shit's about the yeah, yeah, I'll tell you what, man. I grew up my whole life thinking that the world was gonna end, and now I'm just trying to like, it's all about uh, Kit Kat bars and butterflies, man. I'm just trying to, <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to roll with it. If it happens, it happens. <laughs> That's exactly how me and this dude feel because we talked about it all the time. Like I went through a point where I was just obsessed about yeah, this shit. man. Like <laughs> I, 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 1999, it was it, man. I was like, you know, I'm not gonna be able to like be myself tomorrow. I'm gonna lose my identity. This is it. These computers are all gonna malfunction. But after 30 some odd years, you're just like, you know what? Fuck it. If it comes, it comes. I'm sick right? of waiting for it. Like the whole, okay, the whole, the whole 2012 shit. This is my take yeah. on this whole 2012 shit, yeah. man. Honestly, I don't want to sound like an asshole. You know, I'm. I'm I'm part Native American, man. Yeah. I got some Native American in me. I'm a, I'm a European love child, but I got Native American in me. But I just want to say that, honestly, man, I just don't think that the the Ma the Mayans had uh, too many moons left to count in their calendar. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put it like that. Is that it? That's very poetic. All right, cool. I'm honestly, man, like I'll I'll, I'll drink a pina colada right now. <laughs> One flight at a time. One well, flight at a time. This is the end of the show, and uh, we'd like to thank Audios for spending time with us. It was hella cool. He'd like to tell you about his uh, website. Yo, uh, you can find me at Bandcamp at Audios, Facebook, Audios, A U D I O S. Uh, you can find me on Twitter, hollering at your favorite porn star, <laughs> and Audios. Shit, you can find me right here on top of this roof with these dudes, my two dudes. Fucking Audios. Find me in Earth. Find me down the street. Find me fucking, just don't you find me before dinner's over. <laughs> Adios, A-U-D-I-O-S, search it. You also have a, uh, uh, yes, this is my a campaign, campaign you're pushing, right? I am pushing a campaign. I'm not running for president, I know you're all bummed, but I'm not running for president, <laughs> but this is my shit. 
some more hip hop. Let's get a full shot of that. Less swag rap. I mean, it's just words. It's all words. It's a t shirt, baby. $15. So it looks good on a skater. All right, man. It's good on your favorite You're rapper. You're gonna get totally fucking laid if you wear this shirt. You will get laid if you wear this shirt. Mucho <laughs> ponani. Hey, we're epic. We're out. Peace.